wouldn't be here today without the people that came before us. In November is Native American Heritage Month, celebrating and appreciating the diverse culture of Florida's first people. As News 13's Grace Velas tells us, Panama City is hosting several events to recognize Native Americans this month and year round. Rich and extensive Native American history courses all the way through the panhandle. The prime climate along with the abundance of water and animal life allowed Native Americans to thrive in this area for millenniums. Then Europeans began settling here in the 1500s, creating a competition for the land and its resources. And in the last four centuries, their villages, burial mounds and culture were erased by cities and highways. It's not like there were a bunch of burial mounds, they weren't. Um, and so that's why I guess they felt that they could use those mounds for the road. So much of what we had here was destroyed. Um, and so we really don't have the, uh, the evidence to go back and really do the research that we could have done. Ben Liggins is the owner and curator at Native Spirit Museum and Gallery in Historic St. Andrews. Liggins says it's important to understand those who lived before us. Conquering another nation is never a good thing for the people that live there. Um, but we had such a rich culture of people here uh, that knew how to work the land and honor the land and take care of the land. And there's a lot that we could learn from them. Liggins is one of two people selected to give a historical presentation at City Hall later this month for Native American Heritage Month. Ronald Scott will also speak. Scott is a member of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma and a Vietnam veteran. Native Americans have been part of America since before America. And we fought for this country we're still fighting for this country. We love our country, and that's the reason we go join the military so we could fight for this country, and we're all warriors. Scott says he was destined to be a warrior. His father served, and his daughters and sons have continued the tradition. Sixty percent of our races are a Native American race. We usually sign up to go to the military. A lot of them are trying to get a better way of life. Uh, travel and they they love their country. They want to serve their country and be part, become part of their communities. Scott will speak twice this month at City Hall, focusing on the code talkers, mostly Choctaw, who helped win World War One and Two by speaking their native tongue. Even though they tried to make us quit our language, they still needed our language to help win the war, World War One, and also win World War Two. That's what I'm proud of. So that's the reason I keep trying to retain the language that the Great Spirit gave us. In Bay County, Grace Velez, News 13, Panhandle Strong. To learn more about Native American history and culture, you can check out this free presentations at City Hall in the Rotunda this month. Ron Scott speaking Friday, November the 8th and November the 22nd at 10 a.m. both times. And Ken Liggins, or Ben Liggins, pardon me, will be speaking November the 17th at 9 a.m.